Repealing and replacing Obamacare is a complex process. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is here to break it all down for us tonight. Jocelyn? Anna, Darren, this is really the opening salvo, if you will. A lot still has to be hammered out in Washington. Here's what you may like about the GOP health care blueprint. Pre-existing conditions will continue to be covered. Children until the age of 26 can remain on their parents' insurance. And that mandate to buy insurance, along with the fine, eliminated. But John Thomas, professor of law and medicine at Quinnipiac University, says healthy people not offsetting the sick will only drive insurance rates even higher. I think Obamacare failed on that because the penalty was about $700 if you don't buy $7,000 of insurance. That isn't going to convince anybody of anything. But that penalty has now been removed, so there's no incentive to go into the market until you need the insurance. What you may not like if you're on Obamacare, lower Medicaid coverage, subsidies go away, replaced by tax credits. But they're going to be smaller. So your tax credit is going to be smaller than your subsidy, and it's going to be cut off at roughly middle income. So there will be a lot of people now who get these subsidies who won't get a tax credit if this plan goes through. Something new, if you let your insurance lapse getting back on, could be costly. If your insurance goes up for some reason, you can't afford it, and you get out of the market, then you get sick, you want to come back, raise your rates 30% because you let your insurance coverage lapse for two months. The details of the Republican plan have not yet been released. So far, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office has not weighed in on how much this bill will cost and how many people will be covered.